What's up, guys? This is Sochan. 皆さん調子どうですか。今日はですね、ラスベスから少しドライブしてサマリン地区に来てますね。この町に寮にすごく妥協を許さない男がいるんですね。そんな人の作る料理食べてみたいですね。ということで今日は We're here at アメリカーナ。いただきます。We love to see the expression on our guests' face when we serve them the best meal that they've ever had, or they celebrated something really special with us. We love that feeling. Always full. We always put it up in a place where you're full. We don't want to leave it here、uh, hungry. We always want to be satisfied. Hi, I'm Steve Landino. Owner and chef of Americana Restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada. Americana to me is a blend of different cultures that's in America now, and then we're just sourcing stuff that's kind of as local as we could in Vegas, if it's California or Washington, and we're blending that together. So there's different types of food on our menu. Uh, we opened up the restaurant in November of 2016. What makes it special this restaurant is that it、uh, has a great view, a great vibe. We're on the lake. There's not many restaurants on a lake, even in Vegas. And the people that surround the lake are really sweet people. A lot of the people that live around here support us. We're doing more of a local base, which we love because we get to know everybody that comes in here, their preferences, their dislikes, their likes. They are a family. They're a very close knit family. So many people that come through this door that are, that are part of our family that can always come here, good days and bad days, and we'll try to cheer them up or we'll have a celebration with them. Had a sort of 50th wedding anniversary for my parents, and、uh, came here with friends of theirs, and everyone loved the environment, loved the food, the service was incredible, and so now they've been coming back every Tuesday basically for the last three years. And it's nice because I know my parents go to a restaurant where it's basically family. Yeah, I guess the hamburger. The hamburger? Yeah, I like the chicken tenders. Chicken tenders? Okay.、Yeah. I always tell people they're not our customers here; they're our guests. So we treat everybody like they're in our home. This is our home. So, like, this is our library. That would be our dining room.、Uh, that would be a lounge area. So, no matter where you are here, you should feel very welcome. We came here、uh, for our anniversary. Our waiter was. Pancakes walking in, short rib walking in. All right, I'll take this one out. Sixty-four. You got pancakes? Then you got muffin. Shrimp on the side. Shrimp on the side. Add shrimp right here, chef. Chicken BLT one. Danny, chicken BLT. Got to add chicken. Beautiful, thank you. No onions. This one's no onions. Just give me one chicken BLT and I'm happy. Hey, can you give me the smoker? Are you ready? Yep. You know where you got it. Oh yeah. You got mafia. I grew up in Staten Island, New York.、Um, I fell in love with food. As a child, with my grandmother's cooking all the time,、uh, different recipes. Obviously, it was Italian background.、Um, I was going to college in Long Island and、uh, wasn't so happy there. So I figured I should make a career move. It was always the thought in, in my mind, in the background, 
Um, and then I went to a place, I'll never forget it, it was in uh, Port Jefferson. Uh, it was called uh, Pasta Pasta, and the food was so good there, I was amazed by it, and I said, maybe I should follow up and try to cook. Then I went out to uh, the Hamptons to go work in a small little uh, bistro, and they stayed there for a little bit, about, about a year, and worked my way around the kitchen, and then the chef said, you should probably, if you love it so much, go to a culinary school. So I recommended uh, Culinary Institute of America. Uh, I did my stage at uh, Oriole in New York with Chef Palmer. After I graduated, um, I actually went into construction field for a little bit to pay off the debt that I had for college. And then uh, I went back to Oriole and then Chef Palmer was opening up uh, Oriole here in Las Vegas. And he had asked me if I wanted to go out there and uh, cook. I said, oh, sure, I'll try it. I'd never been to Las Vegas. Uh, I stepped off the plane and it was, I'll never forget it, it was probably 70, 80 degrees here and there was snow in the mountains and I was like, this is paradise. Um, I bought a motorcycle the same day and I never looked back. So our passion uh, with the ingredients is to find the best that America has to offer. So we're constantly in contact with people in Idaho, uh, Washington for our mushrooms. California, uh, we even get some of the apples from New York. Um, so we're always sourcing stuff that's in the United States or around the United States that has the best quality. So the Japanese believe that there is always art and food, so you eat with your eyes first, and that's what we try to do on the plates. Whether it's smoking the plates at the table, or table side flambéing, we'll always do something with a flair that's fun and exciting for the guests. So each time they come here, they'll get a new feel or a new experience, even if it's just painting the plate or doing something a little different. Well, we take great pride in uh, definitely the quality of our food and our service. Our service is top notch. Uh, we get great, great response from everybody on our service, our staff members, get to know all, their, all the people that come through the door, and then when they return, they'll ask for them specifically. So we've built relationships. I think that's what a key behind Americana is building those relationships with our guests. Yeah, so even during brunch, we play lighter music, more fun uh, music. We kind of lighten it up a little bit. Um, it's definitely a different vibe than it is at night. A night is a little bit more um, upscale, it's a little bit more serious. So it's more laid back during a brunch, but at night, more fancy. Uh, we have a great relationship. Uh, there's two sous chefs out of here are great. They're always striving to do something a little differently and finding and sourcing different ingredients. Some that we've worked with, some that we haven't worked with. So we're always trying to keep it lively and entertaining back there. Well, I've been here for about almost four years um, and it's been a very strong relationship. I've learned tremendous things and I started here as the sauce day cook, uh, fish station, moved to the grill and then just focused everywhere that I was able to build myself on, and he really has been a key part in, in building me to that position. I learned something uh, a long time ago, you can't ha hand out lollipops every day. So it's always a love and give, a love and give. Sometimes it's, you have to be stern when service starts. You know, there's different times where you can have a joke, or you can say a joke, or do something, but you always gotta try to stay focused. I see that a lot of places they lose focus, and that's where the mistakes happen. So we're always trying to be as focused as possible. This is strip, strip steak, bone in, strip steak. So this is aged for 40, about 40 days. Uh, it's prime, all natural. It's from Nebraska. I'm just gonna take this off here. There you guys. So sometimes they take this off just for tenderness. You guys have a really tender piece.
ゾーチャンネルうわあ、so、ちょっと見てみましょうかこれいっぱい入ってるわこれもう一個入ってるわアメリカンのすべての技術とか、まあ、思いが詰まった一皿っていうこれは早速いただきますけどこれどれからいこうか迷いますねこれ贅沢だなまずはこのアラスカンキングクラブですねいただきますこれはマジでやばいお肉ですねど真ん中いきましょうやばいやばいこれにはあかわいいですねあー幸せーもうねお腹いっぱいです<笑>本当にでもやっぱりこのただステーキが出てくるだけじゃなくてスモークの香りこれがもう本当に美味しいでやっぱりあのアメリカといえばサーファンターフやっぱりこの海鮮ものと、えー、陸の陸地のものこの2つを一緒に同時に食べれるっていうのがやっぱりアメリカならではのステーキなのかなって本当に幸せだわ本当にもうこれいっちゃううんうまい完食ですあと見てこれ静かに夕方ねそうチャンネルこれはまあこのアラスカンキングクラブ。At 94 proof, you don't feel it at all. But I like it standalone, just a rock in it. Full. Always full. We always put it off in a place so you're full. We don't want you to leave in here、uh, hungry. We always want to hear satisfied. And I always tell people it's the last person that touches you is your last experience here. So even when you're leaving, they should be saying goodbye to you and thank you. Always warm and welcoming. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.